Fox 2 follow up last night. We showed you this troubling video of a box truck destroying a church's awning and then leaving without a trace. The Trinity Church of the Nazarene in Florissant is now cleaning up and hopeful they can still host this month's food event. And Fox 2's Jordan Williams joins us now in studio with an update on these resilient church members. Yeah, it didn't take long for them to cool. get out and start yeah. this cleanup after uh, that crash from Tuesday. After all, they are planning their weekly Sunday church service at 1045, a weekend play and that mobile food event. The cleanup is underway at the Trinity Church of Nazarene after this on Tuesday. A box truck crashing into the church, smashing windows, destroying the church awning and leaving without a trace. At the time, a church member was inside setting up for a church play set for this weekend. All this seems like an obstacle that could keep us from many things. Uh, we're just we're, we're thanking God that no one got hurt. The awning completely collapsing, an area that the church uses often for its mobile food events where they have helped thousands. While the church's food events may not look the same in the near future, church service are all systems go. We're just thankful that we're still able to meet as a church. And we Thomas Miller with the church says there's no ill will toward the person driving the truck that crashed into the church and that he's just happy no one was injured. It's important for all of us to come together and to love one another. And St. Louis County Police are investigating the crash. And while the cleanup continues, there's no stopping the church and its services. The play being set up is cheaper by the dozen and is still set for tomorrow and Saturday at 7 p.m. And the church's mobile food event later this month is still planned. Mandy. All right.